This is Graham from Nitride Company and late last night I uh, put together a video on the Twisby swipe which was super exciting. I uh, got up this morning to do my intro and my outro and try to get the, uh, the video on the internet for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Apologies if you can hear people wandering around upstairs. Uh, I do record in the basement and today seems to be particularly noisy in the house. Um, Ling's wandering around and Sammy's running from one end of the house to the other. But I just couldn't wait for quiet time and I wanted to show you uh, the Twisby Swipe which came in yesterday and is in fact on sale tomorrow, 29th of July. Um, just as a side note, we also have Twisby Ink Bowls. These guys are, wow, really nice quality and I think they're going to be super popular with, with our customers. And also we have ink cartridges as well. Um, the interesting thing about the swipe is it's uh, a pen that will take international ink cartridges and has a couple of converters with it as well. So we're just going to take a look at that now and I hope you enjoy the video. First thing to notice about the swipe is it's uh, it's actually a lower cost fountain pen uh, around about $35 or $36. Um, now, compared to something like the Twisby Eco um, or the 580, uh, it's 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 a low-cost pen. So so bear that in mind as I as I show you this pen. And I haven't even tried it actually. I'm interested to see what the quality is because I'm assuming that it's going to be similar to um, something like the Kuwaiko Sport or maybe the Army Safari. And I'm pretty hopeful. So let's see. Let's put these these guys here and let's unbox this guy here. Um, this is the standard packaging for the swipe. It's kind of nice. And if I throw that guy over there, you get this nice plastic case here. And if we crack that open, inside we have a little package of what looks like converters. There's a converter, a cartridge and a spring. And we have the swipe itself that's in this cellophane packaging. Take that out there. And this is the Prussian blue, which is like the smoke is a snap, not a screw. So you just snap the, the cap off here. Um, and it has a demonstrator feed here, a section here, so you can see the feed and the nib. And inside of here, let's crack it open. Oh, we have a little spring piston converter. That's totally awesome. Wow. Now I'm guessing this just pops out here. Yup. And that's an international standard fitting. Although, um, if you notice, this converter is kind of big compared to an international standard cartridge. Just drop that there. There's an international standard cartridge here to compare that to. The fitting on the top of it is the same, I can tell. But the actual converter itself is bigger. So you're going to get a lot more ink in there. All right, let's put that back together. Clip that on there. Hmm. Take a look in the package, which I can't wait. <laughs> this is awesome. I uh, can't believe I'm doing this on video live. <laughs> uh -huh. What do we got here? Okay, so. Wow, that is a Twisby cartridge. Now, again, I'm going to compare this with a standard short international cartridge. And you can see there's quite a difference there in terms of size and the amount of ink you get. But as you can see there, it's the same fitting. So as Twisby have told us, it will take international standard cartridge. But look at that. If you want a cartridge with a lot of ink, Get this, this is awesome. Um, what else do we have here? We have a standard twist piston converter and also a spring here. Now you might be wondering what this spring is for. Um, we have a little bit of instructions in here and uh, optional use with cartridge, not needed during normal use. So you could put the spring in the back of the pen there just to keep the cartridge tight against the feed to make sure it doesn't slip out as you're throwing it around or commuting or putting it in your pocket or whatever you happen to be doing. So let's take a closer look here. Oh, oh man, I love this. This is awesome. <laughs> you're actually seeing me um, <laughs> really enjoying myself here. Uh, and I'm probably not going to edit any of this video. You can just see my 
you know, the, the smiles on my face as I put in this piston converter, throw it down there. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So you have an option here, piston converter or spring piston converter plunger type of thing here, which would suck the ink up here, or cartridge, which can go in here and you would pop, oops, you would pop the spring in the back here. I'm throwing bits of pen around as usual. Um, the spring's going to keep the cartridge in. You're going to screw that in there. Um, there you go. Twisby $35 pen with a cartridge inside, spring to keep it in place, and the option of two piston converters here. The clip I notice, uh, I guess, maybe it's aluminium. It feels like aluminium or something like that. It's really tight. That's going to go in a pocket really easily. Um, the pen itself, I got to be honest, is kind of light. It's a little bit see-through as well but it's not offensive in terms of quality. It actually feels like a quality pen. Um, you gotta remember this $35 pen, okay? This is not a $100 pen or a $200 pen. It's a $35 pen. So you gotta limit your expectations. However, it feels to me like a quality Twisby should feel, actually. Um, yeah, I gotta load this with ink and give it a go. Uh, the other thing we got here in stock now is these guys here, which are the Twisby cartridges, and they come in this beautiful plastic <laughs> folder, I guess, a box. I don't know what to call this quite, but I did crack this one open, and <laughs> I almost cried at the, the beauty of this thing. Look at that. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Yep, I got 10, 10 cartridges and they're huge. They're not small, they're huge. Like, uh, you know, there's my there's my international standard cartridge against the Twisby ones. You get a lot of ink in these. Um, now Twisby do have limited colors. However, I don't think that's gonna be a problem because you have you have the option to use all of these, um, these two piston converters as well. Wow, this is awesome. Might be the best $35 that I've ever spent. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look and see how it writes. Okay, well, I didn't think I was going to do this on camera, but I guess I am uh, going to show you how to fill the Twisby swipe here and see how it writes. You got to remember with Twisby that the 580 and the Eco and the other pens have the converter built in. So the swipe is really unique in the sense that uh, they've gone almost to traditional, um, traditional, uh, cartridge, traditional um, converter uh, to give you an option of something that is not inbuilt with the pen. And that's that's kind of exciting, I guess. Certainly it's interesting anyway, but I'd be interested to see how it works. So I'm, I'm going to fill up with this guy live on camera. Again, like I'm super excited today to see how this works out. <laughs> Let's crack open. What have I got here? A bottle of black. And... That's, it's a pity you can't see it from where I can see it, but that's okay. Let's give that a couple of squeezes there and clean that off there. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Awesome. Professional work, maybe. <laughs> now, just put the lid on this guy so I don't have any accidents. And let's, uh, let's remove these guys out of the way here. I'm just too excited. And let's, uh, oh, some ink here. Always happens. All right, let's see how this guy works. And in fact, whether it works first off. Oh, oh. Wow. That's gorgeous. That is, <laughs> that doesn't write like a $35 pen. <laughs> it writes like a $100 pen for sure. That nib is just beautiful here. Huh. I'm pretty excited. Let's compare it to another Twisby. Let's take, 
Oh, let's take the Eco here. Uh, many of you have the Eco, which is fantastic quality pen with a screw piston converter and a screw lid. Um, and in fact, actually, let's kick this back open. Let's just have a look at the nibs here because I haven't done a comparison, but it looks to me, looks to me like the same Twisby nib. Let's compare with 580. Why not? All right, 580 is a little bit of a bigger nib. Um, yeah, you know what? I think this may be one of my favorite low cost pens now. Let's give the Eco a go. Yep, writes exactly the same as an Eco. Got to try a 580. Ah, yeah, feels the same. Um, Twisby, I, you know what, I have to say thank you very much to Philip and the guys for giving us a chance as a small independent fountain pen company. Um, finding Twisby for us was actually a complete blessing uh, and allow them allowing us to bring their products into our store was fantastic and certainly I know you guys love Twisbys as well. But I will say that the swipe has exceeded my expectations, actually. It, it writes very similar to the higher cost pens. Um, I think it's a great introduction uh, to fountain pens. And the fact that you get two, conver uh, two piston converters with this, and you have the option of using these huge enormous cartridges, or even the smaller international cartridges, I think that's... Uh, a fantastic thing for the price and I can see where Twisby's going with this and fully support them in the future absolutely this is a nice pen um let's show you the other one here if I move these guys out of the way uh this is the this is the black version and this is the Prussian blue here uh I'm so excited I'm not even looking at the camera so I don't even know if I'm in focus or not um they're both gorgeous what can I say? For $35, you can't go wrong. Uh, certainly a great introduction to fountain pens and a great introduction to Twisby as well. Thanks for watching the video on the Twisby swipe. If you did enjoy the video and you want to see others, please hit the subscribe button below and find us at www.knightswriting.ca. I'll see you next time.